In this YouTube webcast, I will be discussing how the new GDNT symbols introduced in Y14.5 2009 can really influence the algorithm of GDNT. So, you need all to be a little bit cautious, a little bit aware about all this new enhancement. So, let me introduce you the symbols and its implications, the meaning. And primarily, if you look at the major enhancement as far as all over is concerned that is very profound and continuous features this one and as far as the all over symbol so we'll understand this interpretation as well and continuous feature that also we'll be looking into this continuous feature and then we'll see the spot face then independency i and unequally disposed profile datum translation with a triangle symbol and movable datum target symbol so the seven different symbols i'll be focusing primarily today and we'll be discussing on those so let us look at this all over symbol and if you look at the parting line of uh, symbols uh, clause uh, 3.14.2 of casting code Y14.8 2009. This is Y14.5 2009 for JDNT global ASME series. And this is basically for casting series. So from there they have derived. So we used to use this symbol there. This is the all over parting line we used to this. So they derived this symbol. You can see. So when you talk about this tolerance zone, it is applicable all over this wherever it is pointed. And whenever you say that this is the profile with the tolerance and all over, so that typical tolerance zone will be complied all over. And not only this, but also wherever it, the tolerance zones are applied. And if you look at the typical features, how it is from the section view and other side views, then it is applied all over, wherever the surface is there. This is a slotted part or you can say a tapper part here you can see so from other side you can see so this all the surfaces are applied so here you can see this as simple as that but is very profound and as far as continuous features is concerned when you have a continuous feature and throughout every part you need to independently assign that okay this is the tolerance this is this tolerance so instead what you can do you can use cf and designate that continuous feature prevails and you can apply this typical GDNT symbol there and you can comply with that and next we'll see the spotted symbol and this spotted symbol wherever you have here you can see wherever the spotted face is available in case of your counter board you can see you have designated counter board but wherever the spotted face symbol is there so you'll be using the spot face mechanism there for the building and you need to use that and you can see this here from this drawing so typically there it will be applied and that tolerance will be complied it is as simple as that but this is also one of the enhancement next is the independency symbol if you want to apply the independency symbol to a particular feature and that will be independent with that typical range and that will be a kind of isolated uh, zone where other complaints will not be applicable and you can see that and if you want uh, complete detail on those uh, because i'm just giving one overview through this series whatever the new symbols are there so you can also ask me more about this and next is the unequally disposed profile symbol so if you specify unequally disposed profile so where you have difference and that typical tolerance will be applied over that surface and this is not equally disposed right so the tolerance is not same everywhere because it with respect to a b and c datum so in this case also you can use the profile symbol and it is applied all over but is not equally disposed and you can see this particular side it is not applied there but it is applied here so that you can designate and you can use a symbol u and if you want any more information also i can assist you in getting more clarity on that 
and datum target you all know but here i'm talking about the movable datum targets so sometimes if this particular point is relative and you can define this as a movable so this point could be any three point over this periphery so it could be movable and wherever you specify this movable datum symbols that designates that equalizing datum features and those are referring to your mdt the moving datum targets and also this is very phenomenal that where you can have a translation with respect to your datum and typically you can see ab is not translate uh, into translation but whereas the c wherever the datum you are using is into translation when you refer from the d datum so let me show you which is the d datum and this is your d datum and when you talk about the d datum from the d datum your other reference e and b could be movable and in that case when you fit inside this and you have this moving datum translation symbol then you can use this for having a movement inside this boundary domain with respect to the datum so you can see is the c is the translation for example but here in this example d datum is into translation and that is what it signifies that this datum could translate with respect to the other datums so this is all about the quick highlight about the enhancement and the features and if you have any doubts you can just write to me and this is my email id and i'll definitely assist you to understand more about it so in coming series i'll be posting more and more videos on different sides of gdnt gdnt is not all about the y14.5 it is about other domain like gear it is about your casting it is about forging different design practice and tolerance stack up and i'll be creating more and more interesting video where you can take the leverage. Thank you.